Okay, here we go. First round with Hornady. We have a hit. We have another hit. Oh, and high. Another one high. There we go. All right, I want to welcome everybody uh, to the Lacey Range today on a very humid 84 degree after Saturday afternoon. And here we have the AIM 74, which is, uh, <clears throat> of course, modified by me. And it's the, based on the uh, SAR 2 um, back when Romania used to send pretty good copies of uh, their uh, service rifles. Yeah. But uh, as you can tell, Empty weapon uh, set up straight SAR. I've added the uh, correct uh, AK 74 Romanian type break that is longer and narrower than the uh, Soviet break. I forget what 22 millimeter, I can't remember what it was. But anyway, Romanian sling. And of course, I do have the uh, uh, the, the Midwest Industry Palm. Uh, railed handguard here with a primary arms T2 copy uh, up on it, standard, and it's co witness with my, or can co witness with my sights. And uh, got the uh, Romanian butt stock right here, of course, the button, push the button in, comes around like a, like a pretty compact package. I cannot, uh, complain about this weapon in any shape or form it is always performed superbly pretty pretty accurate too uh today we're going to be shooting one of the uh, uh 60 grain v max um uh, steel match i think it's what they called it uh but anyway it's it's imported uh with the uh Steel casings, and then uh, Hornady puts the VMAX uh, bullet in there. And as most of you may know, it's 220 uh, diameter instead of 224. Uh, so a little bit different, but does great. Uh, so we'll, let's get down, let's do a little shooting, and uh, see see what it does here. All right, here we go. Five rounds. Out of the Star 2 slash AIM 74. Red Dot Alley. At the bottom of the. <laughs> High and left. Uh, left. Which call? Left corner of the triangle at the top. together pretty good. Now you're just off the right side of the triangle. So. Went left. Way off. Yep, that's it. What's the call on that? Pretty good. Two knots though. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, y'all got it straight from Tracy. Three good. Three good. Two knots. So good. Two knots. So good. Okay. All right, we'll load up here and uh, go for 200. Tracy's got the cam other camera on there. Uh, the Hornady that I'm shooting is shooting a little bit high and to the left of what I got it zeroed with. And that, that's fine. It is zeroed with my hand load. And I, I gotta be honest with you. I didn't want to shoot my hand loads because this thing throws the brass out there. And of course I can't put my brass catcher. Yeah, it hit the camera there, didn't it? Uh, I can't put my brass catcher out. Uh, Block shells view, so that's why I was shooting a steel case. I can leave it laying on the ground, or pick it up later if I want to. Okay, here we go at 200. Uh, didn't really talk much about it, but the 5.45 round is uh, very controllable. Uh, you know, it, it's uh, like a 223. light 
I guess. Good way to put it. Because uh, we, we know 556 five, doesn't kick. Uh, and this definitely doesn't kick. And like you say, you, of course, like all the uh, Soviet or East East uh, Europe stuff is short right here. Of course, I'm way up here. It, it ain't going to make much of a difference. But here we go. I'm going to aim at the bottom left of the uh, target here. There's a hit. There's another hit. Yeah. Hi. I think all five hit, didn't it? What's the group like? Mm, you got two above the triangle, one to the right. Not, I mean. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. That's it, 200. Okay. Not bad. That's it, 200 yards. Uh, I definitely cannot, you can stop the other thing. I definitely cannot uh, engage, it, this is seven, seven, almost 7.30 Saturday afternoon, and yeah, I, I can't see that 300 enough to, nah, ain't no, I ain't gonna say no way, because I could definitely lose some rounds down at it, but uh, I can't see it enough to make it out. But, like I say, that's, that's a quick look. Uh, I've had this gun and shot it out, you know, four or 500 yards, has no problem with it. It can uh, reach on out there pretty good. I, I, I may end up taking, taking all this off. I've had this on here for several years now. And uh, go ahead and put the uh, Romanian dong back on it and uh, shoot it with the iron sight. I go through these stages. I, I want to put a scope on everything and then the next thing I do I want to go back to iron sights uh, now with iron sights on this one of course the sight radius is pretty short uh, sort of hurts it a little bit but not not real bad you can still engage pretty good but uh, the Romanians did a fantastic fantastic job on this uh, very very Feels good. Of course, it's got a, uh, and, and Lord, I'm not a, a straight up AK guy. I probably need to get old Rob Ski involved in this one. But I believe what the Romanians did is this has a much thinner barrel than what the standard Bulgarian or Russian Sega AK-74 has, which in turn has made it a lot lighter. Now they did keep the uh, AK slant or AK-47 slant uh, gas block right here, but it's still drilled straight through, uh, not even slant like the 74, uh, 47 square. Uh, a little bit more, of course this is said, it's a, a 03, and uh, all, the, all the stuff is, I know y'all probably can see this, but it, it, it's put in with a electric pin, I guess. It does have a scope rail over here. Uh, might try it sometime. Put the dong and everything back on it and then go with the scope rail. But I do have to give my kudos to Midwest. Uh, this is a nice feeling hand guard. Uh, sits up here quite nicely. Uh, the buttstock doesn't really bother me. I mean, it may feel a little bit better than an underfolder, uh, but it, it's not. It doesn't rock any. It's steady. Safety on this is pretty easy to engage and disengage. Yeah, like I say, it, it's it's a nice gun. The muzzle brake works well. Uh, of course, these have got expensive now. I, I think. Oh man. Uh, I either gave 300 or something like that for it. And I got it from Jerry Hunt, and hell, he, he about had to beg me to take it. Uh, many, many, many years ago, back when they said things, uh, you know, nobody wanted the 5.45, but I, I've grown to really like the 5.45. 5 I do hand load for it, 
uh, have to make my ammo out of uh, 223 or two, 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 222 Remington cases and uh, make them up and uh, I load it with CFE 223 it, it does great um, very very accurate loads and of course I use the same VMAX bullets and of course now Hornady makes brass so there's really no need for me to make any more brass in fact I probably need to swap mine out and, uh, and go with uh, Hornady stuff but like I say, I hate losing as much work as I put into that brass trimming and everything. I hate losing it. So, uh, But we'll get it out of here sometime and shoot it with that. And uh, thanks for Tracy for doing the camera work today or assisting me out here. And we will see you soon. Welcome. Uh, we'll get you back on the Lacey Range. Go shoot or come out here and shoot with us. Thanks.